on a new shoe. Um, hope this video finds you well. It's uh, Tuesday morning. I'm going to work soon. Um, I just thought I'd make a video. I've just a couple of days ago I was reading this article in um, RussiaToday.com, RT.com. Um, uh, Arthur called Charlie Stone, who I believe works for the, has worked for the BBC and done some independent journalism. But he wrote a really interesting article, interesting article about, um, like, basically saying um, most parents, um, you can go find it on there. I think most parents, over 50% of parents, um, would, would rather their kids get a trade than go to university. And basically, I think it was saying, like, all these ideas, are, are these students, like a lot of these courses now for social studies and social sciences at, at uni, they just, they don't do anything for anyone. And, um, you know, I think it... It leads to a lot of this woke, um, you know, think, woke think that we see at the moment. Um, and, you know, it's just running away with us. We're, we're allowing it to pervade, like, every area of society. Like, what can you say nowadays? What, you know, um, what can you do? There's so much you can't do that you could have done at one point, you know, not all of it good, you know, not all of it. Um, no, but freedom, freedom of speech is a really important thing, you know, but we don't have that anymore, really. Um, now, don't get me wrong, I, I recognise my right to the freedom of speech, but I also recognise my right to responsibly use it so like i wouldn't go up to someone and build it learn and make them feel smaller or make them feel less of a person because of their choice of lifestyle but also i've got my beliefs and you know if they don't line up with yours then so be it but you know that i think that's how it should be that's how it should be um and um it actually got me thinking to um, in Acts, Acts 17, around the 20, Acts 17 verses 20, 19, 20, 21, um, when Paul and Silas are going about debating Jesus, proving Jesus from the scriptures, um, he says, like, some people were saved, some people weren't saved, some people got jealous, um, and, and actually, actually the, the people who got jealous, the Jews who got jealous inside other people from uh, the market, you know, and start, got a mob together and started a riot, you know, does that sound familiar um, from now at all, you know, nothing ever changes, everything stays the same. It says that in the Bible, it says nothing new under the sun, you know, how how boring and predictable we are, we just do the same same thing, you know, we see it with all these riots um, now, exactly the same thing happened back then, um, but, um, you know, basically, I think it's in chapter 21, um, these Athenians, it says Athenians and foreigners who live there, uh, basically, um, did nothing but sit around and talk about the latest ideas, discuss the latest ideas, and that's exactly, you know, and they had a monument, there was a monument there to an unknown God, which was God, but they didn't know him, you know, all they did was talk about stuff, and where they had God in the background, God was there, oh yeah, that's a monument to an unknown God, unknown God. Let's talk about these ideas, which did them no good whatsoever. I think that's what we're seeing now um, with everything. All this wokeness, I think it's exactly the same thing. Um, you know, these people, they don't believe in God, whatever. Um, they believe in their idea of a God. They've got a monument. Oh, yeah, God would be like this. So they build that monument. Um, 
I noticed on the Black Lives Matter website, you know, if Jesus was alive today, he'd be black, he'd be part of Black Lives Matter. I think that's, he says something stupid like that. Um, and that's a monument. Um, and so therefore, you go about debating that, but they, but they don't actually look at who God is, look at who Christ is. And I think we've got, that's the problem. I think people talk about the latest ideas, the latest trends, but um, they they don't do anything. They just talk and talk, and it's so it's it's philosophical rubbish because we end up tying ourselves up in knots. We talk too much. Hey, what about this? Why not this? Well, if that, why not this then? And then we just go down so many rabbit holes. Uh, we just don't know which way is up anymore. Um, anyway, I just thought that was an interesting uh, article and the fact that it m reminded me of Axe. I just wanted to share it. So uh, keep well, keep sane. God bless.